Alger County 901 can help you. Yeah, I got a guy out here at Cobus Motors that's harassing Kevin, and uh, he's getting ready to take off in a in a burgundy Ford uh, Taurus four door with a mirror gone off the passenger side, and his t- name's Tim Mitchell. You familiar with him? Tim Mitchell. Tim Mitchell. He's leaving right, leaving Kevin, leaving is Kevin's he, property right now. He don't have a license. Been, BBT 1806 is a, it's a Taurus SE. Yeah, he's stopping and getting back out again. 18. He's getting out right now. Well, uh, he's just threatening me with hand gestures. He's, I think he's headed towards Foggy. Has he but been he, drinking or anything? Or? Oh, yes, he has. Okay. All right. BBT 1806, he's just leaving right now. Two Bs or there. D? DBT or BBT? Uh, BBT. It's like a maroon colored four door Taurus. He's just toasted. He might make it through Christmas. Is he coming through town, do you know? Yeah, he's coming. He's headed towards Christmas right now from Kevin's. He just got done roughing Kevin up, so. Towards Christmas. You, do you know where he'll be going, though? Is he going to be coming in through Nemesinger? He's going off 13, Highway 13, but I don't think he'll make it through town, you guys. <laughs> Lives off Highway swerving all over the. He's swerving all over the road right now. He's almost to the Christmas. Um, you know, so one of the city cops sat there right in Brownsville, and they tried right. to catch him. Well, that's what we're gonna. Who we're gonna send? I'm just making sure I got everything right. You said it's a maroon four door. Four door Taurus SC, and it's missing the mirror on the passenger side. Mirror, passenger side missing. Okay. All right. Thanks. Yep. Thank you. Bye. Yep, bye. Me and saying five from Alger Base. Go ahead, Dave. Right, five. We just received a 911 call from a gentleman calling from Cobus Motors in Christmas. They were advising that there's a subject just left there driving a maroon colored four door Ford Taurus with the passenger side mirror missing. Um, subject sounds like he's pretty intoxicated. He is eastbound coming towards town. It sounds like he lives off of Highway 13, so according to our caller, he's probably more than likely going to be coming all the way through town if you can be aware of that vehicle. I'm clear. I'll look out for it. Clear, thanks. Um, it was a few minutes ago now, but he was... Uh, just going through Christmas, they advised they were watching him leave from the shop there, okay? I'm clear on that base. You have reached the Elgin County Sheriff's Office. If this is an Your call is being transferred. Yeah, come here. Sheriff's Office can help you. Yeah, Jim Zelensky call. I just called a 911 call in. Yep. Uh, you, can you keep me posted let you know if you apprehended him so we ain't got to worry about him coming back out here tonight? What exactly? Did, was there an assault or anything else that took place? Yes, there, there was or? an assault. Who did he assault? We're more concerned. We're, he assaulted Kevin Kovas, but I'm more concerned about getting him off the road right now. Right. Kevin's still standing. We got his glasses out here, too, so he probably can't see very well. All right. Well, we notified everybody about this, so we're, you know, okay. keeping an eye out for the vehicle, so. Right. That that mirror being off the passenger door is a dead giveaway, but him swerving all over the road is pretty obvious, too. I just didn't want him to hurt nobody on the way. Right, right. Well, we turn it town. over to the city right now. I don't have anybody on for the next 20 minutes for the state, so. Um, okay. You know, as far as calling back out there, letting you guys know that's going to, you know, if something does happen, it'd be up to the uh, officer there, so. Right. Listen, he's probably headed to Highway 13 because he lives out there off Corner Lake, yep. I think. Yep, I, I told him all that, so. Okay, he'll thanks. be keeping an eye open for him. He'll, all right, he'll, thanks. He'll do his best, all right? Bye. Yep. Bye. Five from base. Go ahead. 
just be advised, it also sounds like the subject was involved in a verbal altercation with a couple of the subjects at the shop out there in Christmas as well, okay? Right, I'm clear that uh, 28 by the Legion UTL so far. We have a name on this subject. The advisor is Tim Mitchell. Okay, clear. I'll keep an eye out for that vehicle. Clear. Um, you were clear that it has a, the passenger side of that mirror is missing, correct? Affirmatively. Hello. Hi. Is, is this who is this again? Jim Zelensky. Jim. Okay. This is uh, Deputy Eric Brock from the Sheriff's Office calling you back here. Okay. We're still like trying to locate him, but I, I want to. I mean, as far as what the assault or what what exactly took place out there? Are you guys looking to? You want an officer to head out there too? Do you need an officer to come out here? Get, get, get him off oh, the hold street. On. Okay, I got to go, sir. All right, thanks. Yep, bye. Call me back, though, huh? Bye. Space from 5 is running. Boy, Tcom 1806. Looks like he's going to pull out of the tribal center in Eastbound. Clear. Five from base, did you advise he's running from you? Right, uh, pursuit right now down Cherry Street, northbound. Check that southbound. It's clear. Superior Street, eastbound. B boy, B boy, keep on. You got a return on that plate yet? 1806. We'll enter stop signs. Any regional dispatch operator Thompson to help you. Hi, Deputy Brock, Sheriff's Office. We got anybody on for uh, our area right now by chance? Which sheriff? The city's department? in a pursuit right now with the vehicle. Oh, where? What sheriff's department? In town. What? What town are you Alger in? Alger County, Munising. Alger County. Okay. Yep. All right, and it's in Munising. Yep, he's in pursuit right now. So. Okay. All right. All right, we'll yep. have contact. Yep, bye. Bye. Clear. He's found chocolate. I'm calling Matt right now. Alger 2 is in row. We're working on calling other people. We also got a call on 2 Nagani. What? City's in a chase right now, coming through town. Yeah. Can you come in and help? I'm just calling uh, whoever's close. He's in pursuit right now. 28 towards Wetmore. All right. Give me a minute. Thanks. For so what's the chase on? It sounds like he's intoxicated. Okay. Can you give me a direction? And right. push you, out? you know what? Hey. City's in pursuit of uh, Maroon four door Ford Taurus eastbound on M28 at this time. Going towards Wetmore. Call the state. Get them involved. I got I my kids here. I got my two kids well, here. Okay. It's their calling, man. Yep. Bye. All right. You know, bye. Southbound on Lynn. Eastbound on Chocolate. Bill Eastbound Chocolate through Elm Street because I'm about lost control. Clear. Thanks. You gotta get somebody out here. You got anybody in the area? Alger two is in route. We're working on calling other people. We also got a call on two Nagani. Clear for southbound on Cedar Street right now. Cutting through the hotel parking lot. Come back out on 28, 28 towards Wetmore. Clear. Ace from two. Two. Great. Can you give me a direction and what you got? City's in pursuit of uh, Maroon four door Ford Taurus eastbound on M28 at this time going towards Wetmore. Hey, clear. 
We'll leave it in the parking lot. Thank you. From five, uh, he's passing everybody here. This is going to get out of control. Are we 100% positive on the ID on this guy? Base from five, we're over 100 mile an hour right now, coming up the hill towards Wetmore. I'm starting to lose him. Just got him in my sight here. We're coming up by, uh, looks like industrial park here. Turn on that uh, plate there. I'm, I'm losing them here. I'm going to have to call this off here soon. Affirmative. It's uh, Powell Lake Road address. Clear base. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to keep up with this or not. The conditions are too bad at this point. Okay, clear. Is he east of 13? Right, uh, he's just turning into Wetmore Holiday right now, barreling through the back part of the building down towards 13 there. Okay, clear. Right, uh, okay, we're going southbound on uh, 13 right now. Back on him here, B-Boy, B-Boy, T-Tom, 1806, male driver, single occupant. They're just to the cell. There we got Elder 2 and Elder 9 in row and Elder Sheriff suiting off right now and heading that way. Right, uh, you may want to get a hold of Delta. I don't know how far we're going to go and if he's going to go home. Color four. Clear, will do. Regional dispatch, Larson. Right, uh, okay, we're going southbound on uh, 13 right now. Well, yes, sir. This is Deputy Brock El Giacone. We have their city car in pursuit, pursuit right now, chasing a vehicle. They're just turned southbound okay. on 13. Do you have any vehicles you can southbound start running on, on this way? Southbound on H13? Yep, just turned southbound on 13. He chased them all the way through town. He ain't stopping. And these what kind of vehicle is it? Maroon four door Ford Taurus. Maroon colored Ford Taurus with a missing passenger with the missing mirror on the passenger side. Okay, sounds good. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Yep. Bye. Bye. Okay, we're over 90 mile an hour on 13 right now. Okay, clear. We're trying to call everybody, okay? Right, I'm clear on that. Delta County Central Dispatch. Hi, this is Deputy Grohovac, Elder County. Hi. We got a high-speed pursuit heading down 13 towards you guys. Highway 13? Yes. Do you have a vehicle description? It's going to be a Burgundy Taurus. Burgundy Taurus? Where about is it? it? They just went down 13. Our city officers in pursuit of their excess speeds at 90. Is it in Delta yet? No, not yet. No? Okay. Do you know about how far until it's going to enter into? Uh, at the rate of speed, maybe 20 minutes. Okay. I will um, let the officers know and have them start heading that way. Okay, and I got a reg for you, too. Okay. BBT? 1806? 1806? Yep. Okay. Yeah, just keep us updated, but I'll let the okay. officers know. All right, we'll do. Okay. All right, thanks. Yep, yep.
Clear. Are you still on the straight stretch? Go ahead, nine. Right, five, just be advised at this time there is two uh, sheriff's units en route as well, okay? Uh, we're on that base. Uh, he's starting to pull away here. I'm going to see if I can't catch up to him, and then I'm going to call this thing off. Okay, clear. We're on TX with Delta County, and we've also just one got numerous calls in the regional as well. Clear. I'm still uh, maintaining the visual, however, he's pretty far ahead of me at this time. Uh, okay, clear. For the Get a hold of uh, Trooper Chris. I know he's out in that area. See if he wants to suit up and maybe see if he can assist me here. Affirmative. Thanks. Hey, he's uh, driving wrong lane of the road at this time. Back on his own lane now. Clear. Still southbound on 13. I don't have a cross for you. Okay, clear. Are you still on the straight stretch? Affirmative uh, straight stretch at this time. Okay, clear. Go ahead, nine. Right, originated from a 911 call we, we received reporting that the subject was intoxicated, left Cobus Mortars towards town. We dispatched the city, he attempted to stop, and then that's when the chase began, okay? Okay, clear. Sounds like Munich Thing 5 is probably getting close by the Buckhorn Road area, I'd imagine. He said he's still on the straight stretch, so. Okay, clear. Be advised that registration comes back to a Powell Lake address. Clear. Uh, I'm not familiar with that area. I'll keep you posted uh, whatever he's going to do here. He's all over the center line. Two fours just turned on 13 also. Right, he's just playing on the brakes. Now he's uh, continuing southbound here. I think he's trying to either ram me or give me to break off this pursuit here. Okay, clear. Be advised that registration comes back to a Powell Lake address. Ready, regional dispatch operator Thompson to help you. Uh, we were wondering if you could contact Trooper Chris, man. He lives in the area and see if he could assist right now. They're right. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you talk to the sergeant. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Thank you. We're just talking with you soon. Please hold the line. You're adding these stuff and this stuff in here, Cody. All right. I know it's. Sergeant O'Hagan. Hi, Sergeant O'Hagan, Deputy Brock, Elgin County Sheriff's Office. Hi. Wondering if you can call Bill Crisp. He lives right in the area where this pursuit's in progress. Um, I just started listening a little bit to this, and um, I guess I got to know number one. Why is it that you're pursuing him? We had a like one call a few minutes 
before this pursuit came, and he got in a verbal altercation with somebody. Left, he's pretty intoxicated, he okay. said. So we had the city DOL him. He tried to conduct a stop, and that's he chased them right through town, and now they're down 13 on Buckhorn Road, which is that's where Bill Crisp lives. So. Okay. And uh, but does this guy have an address on Powell Lake or something too? Yeah, that's what the registration comes back on is a Powell Lake address. But he's he's, okay. he's south of Powell Lake Road now. Sounds like he tried okay. to make that turn, but the city got back up on him. So. And he's still driving from the sounds of it right now. Yep. Okay. So I. Oh, okay. He just crashed. Yep. Okay, we gotta go. Bye. All right, I'll be. In touch. Eight from five. Contact uh, two. Five from what I got. Clear. Break elder two elder base. Okay, we're turning down the buckhorn right now. Turning down the buckhorn. Clear five. Turn down the buckhorn. Elder two, are you? Steve chasing right through town. Are you perfect. Hi. Right guy. Might be uh, in our interest if you would head down back to back way towards 94 if that buckhorn just can keep speed continuing and keep speed because you're not able to turn off. Maybe we have to cut him off that way. Just, but he, he just crashed. He just crashed in the turns here. Send EMS, so I'll advise here in a second. Crash, just secure it. Base from four, you clear on EMS. EMS just been paged. Thank you, boss. I'm sorry, it came right at me. Clear. Uh, are all units clear? We're clear. Go ahead. Base from 5-1, I trust these shots fired, 10 EMS now. Base from 2, we're going to be on Buckhorn Road. Hi, can't hear you, hang on, let me break the fire in here. Phase 2, we're going to be out on scene at this time. Phase from 5, uh, subject alert, he's conscious, he's breathing, hit the pulse. Phase 3, we're going to be out on Nine. Base nine, we have two shots fired, one victim down in custody at this time. We're going to need EMF or two gunshot wounds to the victim. Also, you may want to contact Unithing 2, advise him if he can come to this location, and if he can uh, dispatch the state also. Clear, two has been advised. I will get back a call to him and let him know the updates, and I will get the state rolling. Could you also dispatch fire department to our location? Uh, this car is looking warm. Clear, dispatching fire now. Med 1, Elder Base. Two shots fired. Med 1, Elder Base. This Med 1, go ahead. Be advised, shots fired. Subject has been hit two times, is in custody now. Copy, did we get a location yet? 
All I have right now is about Corn Road. I'll get more no, right I now. Know. Copy. Four, I'm checking out a buckhorn right, right now. I'll get your location. Red one, hit the corner and come, hit buckhorn road and come straight to the corner. Red one, did you catch that traffic? It's going to be right on the corner off from the buckhorn road. Go straight down to the corner. It's right there. You have reached the Elgin County Sheriff's Office. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. If you know your party's four-digit extension number, you may dial it at any time. To access the directory, please press 8. For all non-emergency related issues or to speak with a deputy, please press 0 or remain on the line. Your call is being transferred. Hey, this is Nicole over at the hospital. Uh, yes, ma'am. So, has the person involved been hit, shot? Do you know, or you Shots don't know? Shots were fired. I am not sure on extent of injury or what. Okay, I was just gonna call to Marquette, so I was just trying okay. to figure out. Yep, I'm not. Um, I'm not sure of any further details. And okay? they did crash the car. Yes. Correct? Okay. Okay. Thank you much. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Bye. Bye. You have reached the Elgin County Sheriff's Office. If this is an emergency, your call is being transferred. Base from nine. Base from nine. Houston Township, Dallas Bay. Houston Township. Down Buffalo Road, we'll be going down for this CI. Yeah. Hold your traffic, okay? Take 13 down to Buckhorn Road, okay? After that. Go ahead, man. Here's some nine. Sorry about running over your traffic. You go ahead. Also contact Marquette or Nagani. Ask for the crime lab to be dispatched to our location for our incident. And if you could give me an ETA when they'd be able to arrive here. Okay, clear. We're giving them a call right now. We also have Delta County wondering if uh, they have two units en route there. Do we still need them or can I stand them down? Tonight. You can disregard on my uh, Delta County. Disregard on Delta County at this time. Okay, clear. Incident. And if you give 
Nagani Regional Dispatch Operator, Tom, can I help you? Hi, this is Deputy Girl Hope at Delta County. Hi. Hi. Um, I don't know last time we talked to you, but we had shots fired on this high-speed pursuit on the Buckhorn Road. We're going to need crime lab. Okay. And who is injured? It's going to be the subject. I don't have a name on him right suspect? now. Suspect? Okay. Yeah, the suspect. Officer is okay? It, from what I got right now, all the officers are okay. We got one ambulance in route for the subject. Okay. All right, I will let the sergeant know. Okay, and then they were also requesting a state officer to investigate it. Okay. Okay. All right, I think he's working on that already. So. Okay, thank you. All right, yep. you bet. Bye-bye. You have reached the Elgin County Sheriff's Office. If this is an emergency... Your call is being transferred. Huh? Sheriff's Office, Brock. Rocky. Yo. Tony Emil. Tony. I just I just heard a whistle. Did ours go off? Yep. Um it's a PI on the Buckhorn Road. Um, the, the subjects out there basically got called because the car was looking pretty hot. Um, oh, okay. We had quite the uh, situation going on. You'll be okay. so. Um, yeah, it, it's not a fire or anything yet at this time, but. Okay. Well, I'm on the golf course, so. Yep. I just want to check. Yep. Thanks, eh? Yep. Don't worry Bye. about it. Yep. Bye. All right. Bye. You have reached the Elgin County Sheriff's Office. If this is an emergency... Your call is being transferred. Huh? Sheriff's Office, Brock. Rocky. Yo. Tony Emil. Tony. I just I just heard a whistle. Did ours go off? Yep. Um, it's a PI on the Buckhorn Road. Um, the, the subjects out there basically got called because the car was looking pretty hot. Um, oh, okay. We had quite the uh, situation going on. You'll be yeah. so. Um, yeah, it, it's not a fire or anything yet at this time, but. Okay. Well, I'm on the golf course, so. Yep. I just want to check. Yep. Thanks, eh? Yep. Don't worry Bye. about it. Yep. Bye. All right. Bye. Mid one. Base mid one's in row. Base mid one. Mid one. Are we going to be going down 13 or 94 to the Buckhorn Road? Go down 13. It sounds like it's going to be on the first sharp corner by the Dole Lake Road. Okay, clear on that. Are we going to be staging back in space or is he safe now? Phoenix Secure, Med 1. Clear, thank you. You have reached the Elgin County Sheriff's Office. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. If you know your party's four-digit extension number, you may dial it at any time. To access the directory, 
Your call is being transferred. <clears throat> Sir, turn Deputy Gerhold back. Hi there, Sergeant O'Hagan at Nagani. Hi. I know you're inundated right now with phones and stuff, but I yeah. just got to get a couple things from you. Um, do you. I called Bill Chris. He's not available to come in. He doesn't have any uniforms at his house. He said everything's at the cleaners. Okay. I got Tom Nolan leaving his house right now. Okay. Um, so he'll be headed down to the Buckhorn Road. Okay. Um, I guess what I need to know is, that, is MSP going to be investigating the crash and the shooting? Yes. It's not or are you guys doing that? Nope. They, that I just is, heard uh, that there was like five other cars or something at the scene, but I thought there was only one guy that was pursuing this vehicle. There was. We had one guy pursuing. We had our sheriff and undersheriff in a board meeting next door. We called them out of that to go, and they didn't get on scene until after the crash and the shooting, it sounds like. We had our one city officer that pursued and I didn't get what happened, sound like you charged them. Okay. And then you said there were shots fired and needed EMS. Okay, yep, I heard that part. So it sounded like the guy came out of the car right at the at the immunising officer and then started shooting at him and then he shot back or something like that. Is that what happened? From what I got right now that's what it sounds like. Yeah. Okay, and uh the suspect is he dead or he's just injured? It sounds like he's injured with Two gunshot wounds to the chest. Okay. So two shots to the chest and wounded. Okay. I will work on getting some people out there to work, but right now Tom Nolan's going to be the first uh, MSP person you see on scene. Okay. I got another sergeant here. We're making some calls for the crime lab, and um, we're probably going to have to get some detectives and stuff out there too to investigate this if the okay. sheriff's department's not doing that. Okay. So is that true that, that you guys are not doing that part of it? Hold on. One second. Okay. No, we are not investigating it. Okay. So, and that's coming from your sheriff who's on scene, correct? That's coming from my sergeant that's right next to me. Okay. I just want to make sure before I start launching a lot of people and then find yep. out that the sheriff's department's doing the investigation. I'll verify it right now. Would you please, with the sheriff, since he's on scene, I mean, if it's getting turned over to MSP, then I'll certainly... <laughs> Why don't you back the city car up into that lane? Um, as far as the visual block goes, I think that'd be appropriate. Todd, do you want to go to OTCOM for a sec? Elger to Elger base. Go ahead, base. We got MSP on the phone, just wanting to verify that they are investigating. Um, well, I'll stand by on that. I check with Chief Nelson, see if he's got a policy you want to follow. Okay. Yeah, I'll be happy to wait. That's okay. no problem. Like I said I just don't want to get a whole bunch of people started there and then find out that you know um, we're not going to be doing it. Yeah, he's trying to get a hold of it. Police officers are all okay, though, is that right? Yeah, all no, their officers no are okay. All right. Just okay. Right um, right now, I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, I should be out with you in a minute, but um, I guess I'll touch this in just a minute. Just let them know that my 6 o'clock... Trooper's been called out early, so he'll be. You will at least have one person on duty that can do whatever needs to be done. Okay. And then as soon as I hear from you, I'll start calling people in. Okay. If that if that's what needs to be done, okay. Okay, sounds good. All right, thank, thank you, you, sir. Yep. Bye. Bye. Yeah, thing too, I'll do too. Go ahead, thirteen. Uh, I think crossing the whole car. Which agency would you like to investigate in this? Um, right now I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, I should be out with you in a minute, but um, I guess I'll touch base with you in just a minute. Well, I'll wait for you. Thank you. Elger to Elger base. Go ahead. Okay, 8139 was called in to respond to this. He said he was going to hold off to call in anybody else until they talk to us and make sure they're going to be investigating. 
Copy that. Chief Nelson will be here in one or two minutes. Clear. Anything, Tom, Chief Fire Department from Elgin Night? Go ahead, Chief Township. Anything, Township, we were able to get that car shut off. Doesn't seem to be smoking as much as it was originally when we got here. If you guys could stop at the patrol car that's at your location and work your way this way just to verify that everything's good to go, we'd appreciate it. Copy that. We'll be on right here in a moment. Out space, and you can drop you outside 55. Unit calling out your base, go ahead. Right, menacing 2, I'll be out at 555. Clear 2. Hey, that one. That one. We'll be out. Clear. Med 1, Elger, fine. Go ahead, we're being laid through right now. You can just hold up right there. Clear. Raise from two. Two. Uh, concurrence with Chief Nelson, Crime Lab, and MSP for investigation, please. Okay, clear. We will uh, make that call right now. Regional Dispatch, Operator Thompson, I help you. Hi, LG County, Deputy Gerhovac. Hello. I just talked to our sheriff and the chief, and they are now requesting for sure MSP to investigate in the crime lab. All right, I will let our sergeant know. Okay, thank you. You bet. Bye-bye. Base 8139. 8139. In service, being out to Buckhorn Road. Is that on the H13 side or closer to the 94? Clear, and it's going to be right off from 13. Base 210. You can show me. Clear 210. Base 8139, I'll be out. Clear 39. Outer base, outer two. Go ahead, two. Can you go to O2, P1, O2, please? Right, stand by. You have reached the Elgin County Sheriff's Office. This is Your call is being transferred. Sheriff's Office, can I help you? Who is this? Uh, Deputy Eric Scott. Ah, uh, Jim Zaleski calling back. Did you apprehend my friend, Mr. Mitchell? Okay. We got a few things going on, Jim. You're going to have to call back later, okay? Okay, bye. Yep. Uh, the scene, uh, is this closer to 13 or M94? 13 end. Is it the curve by the lake road? Right, I believe so. I mean, I have to go direct with Alger 2 or one of the units on scene, okay? Clear, right. Alger 2 or 8139 from 8132. 
So I had, where am I going on this? Uh, it holds it Bruno trying to figure out the best way to get there. You were correct. It's the curve right by the Dole Lake Road, Buckhorn Road. Here not. Be leaving here shortly. Alger 9, Alger 6. Alger 9, Alger 6. Can you go to O2 Com and uh, be uh, be clear for radio traffic? I have some advice here. Okay, quick go. O2 Com.